We have a kitchen trash can that works perfectly for us, except for one little problem. The springs in the lid have lost their pop and it just doesn't lift. There's two springs on this lid, one here that's rusty and ready to break, and one on the other side that's missing completely. And we hate to buy a new trash can because this one fits our kitchen perfectly. Nobody sells the exact spring anymore, so I went to Home Depot and got this package of assorted springs, and it's all kinds of different wire springs. I took a closer look at four of them, but this one and this one are too small, the wire's too thin. This one, the wire's too thick in my experience, that's not going to work. But this one, this one looks like it'll work just fine. Of course, I don't need a coil spring, I need a spring that looks like this. To make this work, I take the coil spring and I straighten out one end of it a little bit, just enough so that I can clamp it into the vise. Once it's clamped firmly in the vise, all I do then is I grab a screwdriver and take the shaft of the screwdriver and run that up through the spring and then pull the spring out. And that mostly straightens it, although it will still need a bit more work. So I take my needle nose pliers and work over the spring wire until it's more or less straight. It takes some working to get it right. Now that the wire is more or less straight, I can shape it into the form it needs to be in to work properly on the garbage can lid. It'll take a bit more doing. I clamp one end in the vise to hold it firmly, and then I get my screwdriver, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shaft of the screwdriver to wind the wire around. And this is how I get the correct shape for the spring. The spring tends to twist and it's a little awkward to deal with, so I use the screwdriver to twist it around and get it looking more or less the way it's supposed to. There's a couple final things I need to do. First I need to snip it off because it's too long, and then I need to bend it so it's got that hook in the end of it so that it properly attaches to the trash can lid. To do that, I put it in the vise, tighten down the vise, and then I use my needle nose pliers to bend the wire around. Another easy way to do this would be to tap it with a hammer. That's probably easier than trying to bend it with the pliers. And if you tap the wire with a hammer, you can get it a nice crisp bend in it. And there you go, a final spring. Here's the trash can lid. I'm going to take the nasty rusty spring out and insert my two new springs. This one goes in pretty easily and it fits perfectly. On the other side, uh, I had to shape the wire a little oddly to make sure that it snapped into the proper locations. But basically it's just a matter of using the pliers and bending the wire a little bit to make it work. Once everything is in place, now it's time to give it a quick test. And here we go. Much more pop to my lid.